Hello everyone, this is another Black Conservative. I'm Ryan Bowling. Thank you all for joining me. It is becoming more and more difficult. Maybe I shouldn't even say the word difficult. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to rephrase that. It's becoming more and more terrifying, for lack of a better word. I mean, put it that way, terrifying to go to restaurants and just get something simply to eat. You know, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if somebody's going to go off, if one of the, if one of the customers is going to go off. Or, in this case, if one of the workers or managers go off on you, you don't know what to expect. And what I'm referring to is an incident that occurred in Dallas, Texas, in a Taco Bell restaurant. Allegedly, uh, these two young ladies came back into the Red Taco Bell restaurant complaining that their food hadn't been served right. They hadn't received all the items they were supposed to receive. So they come back inside the restaurant, right? And uh, allegedly, and I don't want to give away too much of this because I'm going to get into this article in a minute. Allegedly, and I saw the video, allegedly uh, the manager comes from the back with a big, I'd say, pitcher of hot scalding water and douses one of the girls, females, because there's two females, and douses one of the females with the water. The girl falls down. You can see steam coming up all over everything, and she runs out. Both of them run out, and then and and then and then the manager goes after them. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. So this just goes to show you, you know, you don't know what to expect now. Wherever you go, you don't know what to expect. But let's let's get into this uh, article, and then I'm going to give you a more detailed analysis of this and my commentary. But according to the article, it states a woman claims that when she and her and a girl recently visited a Taco Bell in Dallas, Texas, they were severely injured once a store manager allegedly threw boiling water on the pair. A lawsuit filed July 13th in Dallas County Circuit Court claims that Brittany, Brittany Davis and the daughter of Carol Davis, identified only as C.T., complained reportedly that their order had not been prepared properly. When an employee threatened to fight them before the manager doused them in hot water, causing significant pain and disfigurement, Fox 5 reported Monday. The plaintiff's attorneys filed a temporary injunction to share video footage of what happened. And as I said, I saw the video. You can watch the video on your own if you uh, log at www.breitbart.com and uh, uh, look for the title of the article. They show the video. You can see it for yourself. It's pretty crazy. This prompt attorney Ben, ben Crumped to post the clip of the incident that reportedly happened in June. Wow, way in June. Crump shared the video on Friday showing multiple angles from inside and outside the restaurant. I was able to watch that one as well. And it shows a lot. It's crazy. According to the Fox report, the plaintiffs order, the plaintiffs ordered meals and went through the drive through several times trying to get their order. They claimed the bag did not contain some items, adding the employees allegedly refused to fix the problem. Davis and CT reportedly approached the front door of the restaurant, but it was locked. Locked. Moments later, an employee admitted them and relocked the door. Now I don't know why it was locked. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you I mean. I don't know if it was late at night and they were. I don't know. I don't know what the deal was right there. But but whatever. Following the discussion of the issue, the workers allegedly quote became combative and would not produce their order. The Fox report continued. It was at this point the com the complaint states that the manager, who they claim was not involved in the situation until this point, quote, came from behind the counter, and that's what it appeared to see. It appeared in the video, came from behind the counter with scalding with the scalding bucket of water and poured it onto CT and Brittany. End quote. The two customers immediately tried the feed, they claim, but the locked door made it difficult to do so. They eventually exited, climbed into a car and were rushed to an emergency room. Clearer footage, video footage appeared to show the pair trying to walk, be, walk behind the counter moments before the water was allegedly thrown onto them. And you can, and I viewed that video footage as well. And 
it appeared exactly that. It appeared that the two young ladies tried to walk behind a counter, which is something that I've been seeing a lot in TikTok videos and so forth. People just acting a plum, dumb fool, just ghetto, ghetto fabulous. This ghetto stuff is just crazy. Yes, I said it. The complaint claimed Brittany had at least, look at this now, had at least 10 seizures and was burned on her chest and stomach while CT reportedly had severe burns on her face, chest, legs, arms, and stomach. The plaintiffs are being represented by attorney Ben Crump, best known for representing the family of George Floyd and local counsel. Paul Grinsky, the, the Fox report said. And that's the end of the article there. And like I said, you can read that. You can look at those videos in the article on your own free time. But this is just insane, man. I mean, this is just insane. I had to cover this because, as I said, this is this ghetto stuff. And this, this, this ghetto mentality is not healthy. And for any, before anyone comments in the, in the comment section talking about, who you ready from the ghetto? You putting black people down? You putting the ghetto down? Yeah, I'm putting them down. I am. And I am judging their actions. Yes, I am. I'm 53 years old. I've been raised around the ghetto I've been, since, since I was a little boy. Where I live right now, I've only lived on this side, West 14th. Uh, uh, on, on the west side of where it's really nice that I've only lived here for two years. Very nice. It's not perfect, but I don't have to deal with all the rigmarole that I had to deal, in the get, deal with in the ghetto. So I know the ghetto life. I've been around people that act that way. Okay? My life has been threatened by ghetto fabulous people in the past. So I know what it's all about. And yes, I'm judging their actions. It's stupid, dumb, and ignorant. And when you bring that kind of stuff in a workplace, not only do you are you 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 not only have you hurt this woman, she could try to sue, you know, this individual they could try to sue, but you also hurt the bottom line of that particular uh, Taco Bell, because no one's want to, going to want to come there. No one's going to be, man. What's going to happen if the man if I if I complain about my food makes you afraid to complain about your food? It goes like this. It's like if you're an employee. In one of these restaurants, you feel for of what a customer might do. Because I've seen, like I said, I've seen videos of customers going buck wild, acting a fool, climbing over counters, beating up on, on employees. So as an employee, you're afraid that a customer is going to act crazy. On the flip side of the same token, if, you were an, uh, if you're a customer, you're afraid that the employee might go off on you. This is the environment we live in. This lack of self-control is getting way out of hand. It's getting way out of hand. And this is just, wow, this ghetto stuff. And here's the thing about this ghetto mentality. The ghetto lifestyle, and I don't know what other term to use it. I don't know what you want to say, hood? Hood life, ghetto life, whatever. This is promoted in movies and the news and, 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 and uh academia as the cool thing the good thing the right thing and let me say this the black thing this, and see in this mentality is oftentimes associated with a certain segment of black people i hate to say that but y'all know i'm telling the truth stop stop playing games now y'all know i'm telling the truth you know i'm telling the truth Unfortunately, this is associated with a certain segment of black people in inner city in lower income areas who have this mindset, this attitude of lack of self-control of I don't care. I don't give a F. I don't care. You know, I don't I don't I don't give a F because I don't give a F. That's why they talk. So you don't care if your life is taken over something stupid and boneheaded. You don't care if you take somebody else's life. You don't care if they sue you because you don't have no self-control. This is the environment that we live in, and it has not always been this way in the black community. It hasn't been. And I say black community because if you look at the video, unfortunately, I hate to say this, but they were black. Now, the woman that poured the scolding, the manager that poured the scolding water on the two young ladies who were black, uh, I don't know what particular ethnicity she was. 
She looked light-skinned, so she could have been Latino. She could have been white. I'm not sure. Or she could have just been light-skinned and black. I'm not sure. But the point is still the same thing. A ghetto mindset is infectious. It infects all kinds of people. I know this from not only my past in dealing with, with, with that type of lifestyle when I lived in those neighborhoods, but I deal with it all the time where I work in downtown uh, Cleveland, down in Tower City. I deal with these kind of people all the time. Every single day. There isn't hardly a day go by where I don't have to deal with ghetto fabulous people and their attitudes and their mindsets. How is that promoted as being cool? I don't know. But it is a destructive way of life and it never benefits anyone in the long run. It may look good. It may feel good. But in the end, it's going to get you. It's going to bite you in the butt. Because you're going to end up doing, you're going to end up getting sued. Your life will end up being taken or you're going to end up hurting somebody else and you're going to end up going to jail. That's how that mindset goes. That's how, that's how it always ends. Unless you take the initiative to do something to better your life, the ghetto mindset is the road to destruction, regardless of your ethnicity, white, black, Hispanic, whatever. If you want to go that route, it's the road to destruction. It's never going to end positively unless you take the initiative to end it. And unfortunately, this is what we have. Another thing, too, let me say this also. It's sad that. Businesses like Taco Bell and others have to hire these kind of people from this type of pool, pool of environment in, in terms of employees or possible employees. It's sad that you have to hire these kind of people. And, 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 and I, I, look, I know it. You know, everybody deserves a shot. Everybody deserves a, 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 the opportunity to work. You know, they need that. But what happens when you have this type of stuff happen repeatedly all the time? Like I said earlier, it hurts the bottom line of that particular establishment in that particular area. It hurts the bottom line. So what happens is, is that people stop coming. Or they're scared to come, so that hurts you monetarily. And that might put people out of work. They might have to lay people off or whatever. We, we, I mean, it never leads to good. It never leads to prosperity for that particular business in that particular area. It never does. So unfortunately, employees have to hire people from this pool of, of, of workers that have this disposition about themselves, that have this worldview about themselves, that have this attitude. And unfortunately, we have this kind of stuff going on. We have this kind of stuff going on. And like I said in the ending of this video, part of it, I believe, is due to the breakdown on the moral fabric of our country and the breakdown of families because morality starts in the house, the household. It doesn't start in the schools. It doesn't start in politics. It starts in the household. That's where children learn right from wrong from. But if they're not taught right from wrong and taught moral values at home, they're going to get it somewhere else. And nine times out of ten, it's not going to be good because the schools certainly aren't teaching right from wrong with the children. They're not today. They used to back in the early in the 1800s, in the early 1900s, they used to. But when God was removed out of the schools, when prayer was removed out of the schools, when morality was removed out of the schools and replaced with moral relativism, and situational ethics. I said that before. I said it again. What do you think the kid's going to act? So now you have that type of attitude reinforced in the school. You have the schools teaching CRT and, and, and transgenderism and all this other stuff. And then you go, to, you go home. The children go home. Young people go home. And morality is never reinforced at home. So what do we expect from these young people? And by the way. You probably already figured that out, but I'm going to say it. These people, these these uh, employees and victims were young people, probably in their teens, upper teens and early 20s. Young people. With no morals, no values, no ability to have self-restraint. So it's a sad situation. Prayerfully, things will get better. Prayerfully, but people will wake up and, 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 and start teaching their children moral values and start giving them things that's going to really help them in their life rather than destroy them. But that's what I had to say about that. What do you guys have to say about this video? What do you have to say about the action of this uh, manager? Totally, totally off the hook. Totally crazy, okay? For her to even do that. But then again, uh, uh, the video does appear to show 
that the two young ladies tried to go behind the counter. And I'm pretty sure that the manager seeing incidents like this in the past said, no, 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 no. I'm speaking on a purely natural level now. No, 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 no. You're not going to come back here. Splash. Really sad. Really, really sad. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. God bless you all and see you again.